Hey guys, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve second order homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. So here you have three different examples and I'll show you how to write out their general solutions. Now keep in mind that we're going to assume that the solution is going to have y equals e to the rt. So we're looking for the root to these differential equations. So if I were to write down the characteristic equation for the first one, it would be r squared plus 5r is equal to zero. And then you try to factor this and try to find its roots. So I can factor this into r times r plus five equals to zero. So the roots are r1 equals to zero and r2 equals to negative five. So you have two different real roots. So the solution is going to be y is equal to c1 e to the zero t plus c2 e to the negative five t. And of course this we can rewrite because you don't want to write zero t. So hence we can say this is y equals c1 because e to the zero t is just one uh, plus c2 e to the negative five t. So that's how the solution would look like if the root of the characteristic polynomial is real and distinct. Now what about the second one? So we have uh, another second order differential equation and we want to find its characteristic equation and then find its root. So let's go ahead and solve that. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out its characteristic polynomial. That would be r squared plus 2r plus 2 equals to 0 and this one I'm going to go ahead and try to complete the square or feel free to use the quadratic formula. So we have r plus 1 square minus 1 plus 2 equals to 0 by completing the square and then this would simplify to r plus 1 square plus 1 equals to 0 and then we get r plus 1 square is equal to negative one. And keep in mind, as I take the square root on both sides, I get plus and minus i, which is the imaginary root. And then by solving for r, we have, by subtracting one, we have r is equal to negative one plus and minus i. So this equation has complex root. So the solution would look a little bit different. So we have, so this can be written as, alpha plus and minus beta i, where alpha is negative one and beta is one. So the solution would be y equals e to the alpha t. So let me just write down the constant first. C1 e to the alpha t, so that's negative one t, cosine of beta t, which is one t, plus C2 e to the alpha t, again negative t, sine of beta t which is 1 t. That's how you can write the solution to complex root or if you want you can factor out the exponential part. So we have y equals e to the negative t times c1 cosine t plus c2 sine of t. So that's how we can write solution to complex root. Now, last scenario is the last example. What if the roots are none of these, right? So let's take a look at the third example. So again, go ahead and write out the characteristic polynomial. So this can be written as r squared minus 6r plus 9 equals to 0. And then we try to factor or use quadratic formula. I'm going to go ahead and factor this. So this is r minus 3, r minus 3, which can be written as r minus 3 square equals to 0. So this gives us only one root, which is 3. So this is what we call it the repeated root. So it's repeated twice because of the power 2. So that means our solution is going to be c1 e to the 3t plus c2 uh, t times e to the 3t. So you multiply by this extra factor t to make 
the second solution independent of the first solution. So that would be our solution if the roots are repeated. All right, so I hope these three examples helped you understand the three different scenarios you can have for a differential equation that is second order and the characteristic has three different types of roots. All right, I hope this helps. See you next time.